I have these two Longchamp Le Pliage large totes, and today I'm going to compare them and tell you what's different about one of them from the others, and tell you how you could get a custom bag. The secret is one of them is recycled, and you can get a custom recycled bag with your initials and whatever color you want, pretty much. I'm going to share all the details about this in this video, so if you are interested, stay tuned. <music> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Let's get started. For Christmas, Yota style. One of my YouTube friends gave me this Longchamp Le Pliage handbag and this was on my wish list. Green is my color, as many of you know, and as soon as I saw this bag come up on the Le Pliage website or probably other websites, because I don't go to the Le Pliage website specifically that much, I tend to shop at other places for Le Pliage because I tend to buy these when they're on sale. I did find this, I think at Satir, I will link them below, and I think the retail on it was about $150, but they had it for $115, so that's why I sent her the link for this one. Anyway, I saw the green bag, I thought I have to have that. That's going to go with my wardrobe really well. So I put it on my wish list and she got it for me. Now what I did not realize until after she gave it to me is that this is a recycled bag. This is the Le Pliage green line. The bag itself is recycled polyamide canvas and it says it has Russian cow leather trim. And the way that you know that this bag is part of that green recycled line is no matter what color the bag is or the leather is, these little tabs, which they call ears, all have a lime green trim. So it could be a yellow bag, it's going to have lime green glazing on the ears. Notice the glazing on the rest of the leather is not that green, it's all tonal, and that's also the case with the other colors in the green line. The hardware on this is silver, you have the silver button and the silver zipper pull, and other than that it's a regular Le Pliage tote, the same kind of tote you're familiar with. The horse logo here is also tonal, and that logo is a little bigger than it usually is. Everything else about the bag is the same as what you're familiar with on any other Le Pliage tote. The interior on this one is black, it has a pocket in the back, no pocket on the front, and the interior is coated. In addition to linking Satir below, I will also link a few other websites that sell Le Pliage where you can find it at a discount. Now at the beginning of this video I showed you two green bags this recycled one, and also this one. Now, Yota sent me that first bag, but I then went to my TJ Maxx, I saw this bag, and I picked it up too. Let me hold them together again side by side because you need to see how very similar they are. They're the same color bag. The leather trim is the same color. The only obvious difference is that this bag, instead of the silver hardware, has this lime green button. And you know how the recycle bag had the lime green glazing on the ears? Well, this one has the same lime green glazing on the ears, but it also has the button and the glazing all around the edge of the leather, whether it's on the straps or on the little flap here. It does still have a silver zipper pull. The interior of the bag is the same as the other. It's black with that one big pocket on the back, coated on the inside just like they always are. The logo is in the lime green and it's a little bit smaller. It's, it's the regular size, so probably difficult to tell there, but the lime green one is a little bit smaller than the dark green one. That's a really awkward frame there. So why did I buy two almost identical bags? Well, I didn't. This one was given to me and then I purchased this one just because I like that lime green trim. I just think it's cool and it's something a little bit different. I do think it gives the bag a different look, a different feeling, honestly. And Yota already knows this. I told her this before I filmed this video. I would probably reach for the one with the lime green more. Had I seen this bag in person first, I probably would have put the lime green trim went on my wish list, but I'm happy to have them both. And though I would on a regular occasion probably reach for the lime green one first and more often, I do see a really good use for this in my collection, which is pairing it with this little Longchamp bag, my extra small in the boucle. You can see the texture of that there. This is a sold out bag. It did recently come back into stock at Bloomingdale's where I purchased it. And as soon as I saw that, I posted a community post on YouTube, sharing 
sharing that link with you guys because several of you when I first revealed this during vlogmas said that you wanted one so I shared that with you and you guys bought them all up like within a couple of hours so just saying that's another reason to subscribe to my channel is to see those community posts because they can be really helpful if you're looking for something I tend to post things that are hard to find like this and this was on sale. I paid 280 for it, and it was on sale for 196 So you guys who took advantage of that community post got a gorgeous bag for a fantastic price. But let's go back to current video topic, which is these green bags. The boucle bag has a dark green trim, and those pair perfectly together. I don't think this bag goes as well with the lime green trim, you see? just doesn't work. So keeping this bag in my collection instead of just picking one of them is a great idea because I can pair it with this. So I can carry this as a handbag and then if I need more space, like if I need to carry my computer or something, I can also carry this around as a tote. And I think that is a perfect combination. I will say the recycled bag, when I first opened it, it had a little bit of an odor. And I wouldn't say it was a bad odor, it was just a different odor than the normal bags have. However, that odor has gone away and it wasn't strong. It was just, it could have just been from being packaged up and then it hits you and dissipates right away. I had never gotten anything from Satir before, so I didn't know 100% if they were legit because there are some websites that look legit but are not. And that combined with this logo being larger and then the feel of the bag being a little bit different, it's just, very slightly, almost not noticeable, very slightly thinner than the regular canvas bags. And also, if you look at the straps, it looks like the one with the green trim, which is more like their normal bags. The leather is a little softer and more pliable. And when you hold it, it's it seems like it's a little taller. It's not, they're actually the same length, the handles. The leather on the recycled bag is a little stiffer, so it doesn't hang as low. Does that make sense? They are the same length, but you sort of have to pull it to get it to be the same length. Does that make sense? Not sure, but they're the same length. So anyway, those things all combined made me wonder if this bag was authentic. And when I opened it on camera, I actually started talking about that, but then I cut it out in the editing portion because I realized it is authentic. I went through and looked at some listings for this, looked at a few details on it, and it matched up with the authentic listings. So Satir is legit, and this bag is legit, and those are some differences that you can be aware of if you're interested in the recycled line. Now I mentioned that you, yes you, can get a custom recycled bag from Le Pliage. Here is how you do it. You go to the Longchamp website, I will have it linked below, and they have a line called My Pliage Signature. So you would click on that link, that's the link I'll have linked below. And you can personalize bags, and those bags all happen to be recycled. It says they're made from 100% recycled polyester canvas, which includes water bottles. So it's made from recycled water bottles, among other things. Very cool, very good for the environment. I've been playing around with this feature and thinking that I might get one. And they have them in the large size, the regular sizes. I think they have the duffel size, maybe. They also have my very favorite size lately, the extra small. I am... These are my favorite bags right now. I love them so much. They're lightweight, they're interesting, they're like little speedies, but without that price tag, they're more in the $200, $300 price range. I happen to prefer the nylon ones, which are cheaper than the leather versions. Anyway, they have this bag, the recycled customizable bag, available in that extra small size. They have a lot of canvas colors that you can choose from. They only have three different leather trim colors. I wish they had more than that. They have black, brown, and white, and they only have three hardware colors, gold, silver, and something that they call like black silver, I think. It, I don't think it's black. I think it's more like a gunmetal. And then in addition to choosing those color combinations, you can add up to three letters with or without a dot between them. And you can even, up on the leather part right here, you can have a word hot stamped. And you can do that with gold foil, silver foil, or no foil. So I'm trying to think of what two or three letters I might want to get on a bag and what color combinations I might want, and I might pick one up. The extra small size was $320, if I remember correctly. And I think that's pretty reasonable for a completely custom bag. Well that, ladies and gentlemen, tells you I think all you would need to know about the recycled line from Longchamp and the differences between these two bags and some of the subtle things to look for as well as the customizable. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of the video. Have a fantastic day. Bye.